Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and this will be a short video. I just got a box in the mail again today. I've ripped all my personal details off the box for obvious purposes. This is a uh, radioactive package I got in the mail. So let's look at this little stamp, this little sticker on the side. It came from the UPS. Radioactive material accepted package. Accepted, kind of interesting word. This package contains radioactive material accepted package and is in all respects compliance with compliant in compliance with the uh, applicable international and, nas um, and national governmental regulations, UN blah, 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 blah. Uh, interesting, it's another side too. So I guess that just means that you can like not have any problems with this. This is a completely legal thing, so I guess that would be why. And I have a Geiger counter here to test with it. And just out of curiosity, let's see if we get anything off of it. So we'll flip the sound on. We're getting a background, I'll tell you the background first. The, we're on the times 10 mode, so our background is 0, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. We're sitting around 1,800 counts per minute. And you'll see when we put the, the, um, the detector up against this, we're not really getting very much. There we go. It's got a little bit of a peak off of it, a little bit. So it's not really doing too much. I wonder why. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside of it, because that's really what we want to do. Now, safety first. I have this humongoid knife. We've got, like, this katana here. It's not a katana. But, um, actually, i got a katana right over there, but that's all right. We'll just use this. Safety first. Always cut away from yourself, because, by God, we want to make sure there's at least one thing in this entire world that we do that's safe. So look at the stickers on it. Spectrum Techniques, it says. Spectrum Techniques is where I get all my tech sources. Like this little uh, um, uh, uh, CC-137 tech source, SA to 95% uh, accuracy. Spectrum Techniques, let me tell you. There's apparently one other place where you can get them too, but I've never bought from them before and I don't know any, anybody who has. Um, there's a lot of places you can find them, but almost every place you go to just buys from Spectrum Techniques. They're the ones who actually make the stuff. So, anyhow. Oop, drop the knife. Let's open this guy up and Spectrum Techniques. Techniques peanuts. Every box I ever get from them always has all these peanuts in it. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. And this would be the thing that I ordered right here. Okay, so let me pause the video and clean up the peanuts. Okay, so the video is now unpaused, and here is oh, here's a peanut. Here's the the thing, the whatever it was that I bought. You can see it says radioactive material inside. Yay! That tells you it's good. All right, so let's open it up. Safety first. Always safety first. Now, when you cut sideways, that's an interesting one. You're not cutting away from yourself, and you're not cutting towards yourself. You're cutting sideways. I have no idea why I sliced so much of that open, but whatever. Hmm. All right, so uh, here's a little thing telling me how much stuff I can own legally. And as you can see right here, season 137. I can have up to 10 micro curies per disc, that's per sample, and up to 100 per bo uh, 100 micro curies per box. I don't have anywhere near that much. In fact, I don't even own that much. This little guy right here is a tenth of a micro curie. All right. Now, I should probably be wearing gloves, but you know, whatever. Sometimes I wear them when I'm opening up a fresh sample in case something has gotten dislodged in the mail. My certificate of calibration. Let's open that up and go inside. I'll be photographing, not photographing, I'll be photocopying this uh, like I always do and putting it in my records. You don't have to keep super duper records that way, but I try to if I can at all possible. Just making sure it doesn't have my information on it. Okay, so here we go. This is the information. Apparently, this is 3,621 becquerels. This decays per second. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. The total activity is 0.115 microcuries, so it's actually 4,255 becquerels, but the area from the primary gamma from cesium-137, which is what this is, is right here, 3,621. Neat! This is 95% accuracy, I believe. 95% accuracy is what it should be. 5%, uh, yeah, so it's 5%, um, there's a 5% error, plus or minus. And this is uh, uh, done using a uh, high-purity germanium detector with a NIST National Institute for Standards and whatever, by a NIST traceable mixed source. So this is a pretty freaking good calibration. Here's all the information also that they send me with it. Blah, 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 which I already have all of that information, but I have it again. Now here is the thing. So um, 
because of what this is, I'm going to grab a glove. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I don't suspect that any problems will occur. But you know what, because of the nature of what this is, I'm gonna put a glove on And Some of you are probably saying, why are you putting a glove on? It's a seal radioactive source. It's not gonna hurt you. It can't do anything to you. And you're probably right. But there's a reason, and you'll see why. This isn't a regular one. This isn't one of these. This is a liquid source. It's within water. That's the whole point. So um, let me kind of unseal this. Okay. Kind of do this in as safe as a manner as I can. Because it's probably sealed inside here nicely, but until I can verify that it's sealed nicely, I might as well be safe. Not getting anything from that. Don't see any evidence that it isn't sealed. And there it is. And now I'll just check the paper towel quickly and see if there's any evidence of leakage. Put that on pause. All right, now I've checked everything in detail and there's absolutely no indication of any leakage of any type. So um, let's test this sucker. Let's put this on times 100. We zero the meter out. Now we're at 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000. And our background our background is approximately normally about 2,000 counts per minute, so we'll give this a minute. Isn't that neat? It's water with CC-137 in it. Put this against it. And the water is attenuating the gammas. It's not slowing them down, but it's reducing their energy. And what's interesting about that is you see I'm getting on about 8,000 counts per minute. But if I put this same, approximately the same amount of, of source material, but you notice that you get a higher reading, and that's because water's not attenuating it. So I can take this off probably because this is safe, but I'll keep it sealed up anyway. Um, so this is a few milliliters of water. Well, with uh, so I think it has sodium or something mixed in with it to keep, you know, bacteria and stuff from living in it. And it has a very, very tiny amount of cesium-137 in it. A very, very tiny, tiny amount. I mean, uh, most people buy 10 microcurry sources. If you like, uh, this guy right here is only a tenth of one microcurry, so 100 times less than the normal size people buy. And this right here is the same as that. It's a one one-hundredth of the normal size. Um, Spectrum Techniques usually likes to sell you one microcarry ones, and this is a tenth of that, so it's a very, very tiny amount. Um, there's the, the point of having this is to do a really, really good approximations of CG-137 in water, because it's easy to use math, but I like to experimentally uh, uh, test things, and I can literally see the attenuation with this, because, I mean, it's really being attenuated. It's not just math, and maybe it's true, maybe it's not. So, um, there you go. That's an interesting little guy right there, and this is the fully assayed to 95% accuracy against a NIST traceable source, and completely legal, of course. There's actually no disposal rules that surround this, which I think is absolutely just ridiculous. I would never, I, if I disposed of it, I would probably pay and have it sent to some official place to be disposed of, but according to the NRC, there's none, so there you go. Anyway, so this is uh, Tom from uh, anti-proton.com, and, um, there you go.